Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Troba and I'm glad you're here again for Sunday School. In our story today, Moses and the Israelites are on a long journey to find their home. If we went on a long journey, we might ride in a car or even in an airplane. How do you think Moses and his friends traveled on their long trip? And it was a very long trip. I think maybe they had to walk. In the story we will hear today, God finds a way to keep Moses and the people healthy and safe while they were on this long journey. Now when we get sick, we look to God to heal us too. If you have a band-aid at your house, put it on your arm or your leg. Do that now. I put my band-aid on my hand. Then, we'll talk about that later, then let's look at the first page of our leaflet, this one with the red path on it. Moses and the Bronze Serpent is the title. And you're going to see a path, a red path, and some snakes, and a cross. Well, the Israelites had a problem with snakes on their journey. When they were bitten by the snakes, God told them to look at a bronze snake statue. They held it up really high and so the people could see it. And looking at that statue would keep them safe. God was taking care of them. Let's travel along the path like the Israelites. So put your finger at the top of the path and just follow it along and see if you can go all the way without touching a snake. But if you're not careful, you might get bit by a snake if you get too close to one. You might even try it with two fingers. See if you can get through the path without touching a snake. Now, if you accidentally touch one of these snakes when you're traveling down the path, Quickly touch the cross. Find the cross. The, God, the cross means God will keep us safe. You will be safe from the snakes then. The snakes can be a symbol. They can stand for anything that might hurt us. The cross is the symbol that, sh that God saves us. The story today is called Snakes in the Wilderness. So I'm going to read the story to you right now. God's people were complaining. God rescued them from Egypt, but now they were stuck in the wilderness. They had to walk and walk and walk all day long. The people rubbed their tired, sore feet. They yelled at God and at their leader, Moses. We are tired. There's no water. A bunch of snakes appeared among God's people. The more the people complained, the more the snakes bit the men and women and children. The people cried out for help. Ow! That snake bit me. God, please take these horrible snakes away. Here you can see they're walking. And they're not happy because their feet hurt and they don't have enough water. And then some, some snakes came. The more they complained, the more snakes that came. And they started to bite their feet and ankles. They said, God, please take the snakes away. Help us, God. We were wrong not to trust you. God was with the people in the wilderness. God heard them asking for help. God spoke to Moses, and Moses listened to God's instructions. Make a snake out of bronze. Raise it up high on a staff. If someone is bitten, tell them to look at the bronze snake. They will live. God's people kept walking for days and weeks and months through the wilderness. Sometimes there were snakes. Many times their feet were tired and sore. But now they could look up at the bronze snake and live. They trusted God to save them and knew that God was always with them. 
And here is Moses making that bronze snake, and he's putting it on the staff, or the long um, stick. And now, if a snake came and bit somebody, they could just look up at the, at the bronze snake, and it would help them. It, it would heal them. So, why were the people complaining in our story today? Did you say they were in the wilderness and they had to walk and walk all day long? They were tired and thirsty and their feet hurt. So what happened when the people complained? The snakes appeared and the snakes bit them. So how did God take care of the people? What did God say to Moses? He said, make a snake out of bronze and raise it up high on a staff so that the people can see it. God said if someone was bitten to tell them to look at the bronze snake and then they would live. How do we know God still loved the people even when they kept complaining? He saved them, didn't he? What happens to you when you whine and complain? If you ever whine and complain. Well, we still know, we always know that God loves us. And we know that our parents loves, love us as well. So let's, let's look at the poster page. Today we're going to make a banner. And I'm going to show you mine. I already colored mine. At the top it said, says, God cares for us. So find the heart. Point to the heart. The heart reminds us that God always loves us. These are symbols that remind us of things. Now find the eyes. I found mine. The eyes remind us that God always looks out for us. They also remind us to look forward and look out for snakes. So look out for anything that might hurt you or be dangerous. What do snakes remind us of? You're right, what we just talked about, they'll, the snakes remind us of things that might harm us. Now, what about the bronze snake? Can you find that? All right, that was what Moses put high in the, in the air so that everyone could see and be reminded that God would take care of them and heal them. So you're gonna color your whole banner I just, I colored every white part on the banner, the heart and all those background places. And now you're going to turn it into a banner with some sticks. And you could use chopsticks. And if you don't have chopsticks, you could use maybe rulers. Um, and I couldn't think what to use. And then I decided I could use wooden spoons. So I'm going to see, I haven't taped them on yet. Somebody's going to tape these on here for you so that you can hold your banner high in the sky the same way that Moses did. There's one side. Now I'm going to tape the other side. And once you get your banner made, you're going to march around your house with your banner. Hold it up very high so that everybody knows. Yep, that worked pretty good. I can hold on to the spoons. They're just taped on the back. Hold it up real high and march around. Today, we learned how God's people forgot that God was taking care of them as they were wandering for a long time through the wilderness. How does God take care of us? Well, he gives us food. He gives us a warm house, nice beds to sleep in. Our parents take care of us, and we have schools to learn. I bet you could think of a lot of things. Okay, let's look at the last page of our leaflet. It's the back side of the red path we were tracing. And it's this silver, looks like metal to me. Well, we're going to turn that into a spyglass. 
So you're gonna you're gonna probably need help. Have somebody roll it up like this, and I'm gonna just tape mine so I can look through it. And after you get your spyglass made, then you're gonna look through it and find things around your house. All right. Do you see me? Here's my spyglass. Let's find out what they want us to look for. All right. When the Israelites got bit by snakes, God told them to look at the, at the bronze snake, right? Well, we're going to use our spyglass to look for some things. And the first thing is, find something purple in your house. Hmm, I'm looking for something purple. This is not easy in my house because I don't see much purple, but I see something over here. <laughs> I found this, a purple clipper. This is for my cat, it's not for a person. All right, what else can you look for? Look for a friend. Find a friend. All right. Look for something God created. Did you find something? Maybe a plant, a tree outside your window? Okay, what else can you look for? Think of some things that you can look for with your spyglass after, this, after we're finished. Now, remember that Band-Aid? Find your Band-Aid that you put on. We are not alone even when we are hurt. So the Band-Aid can remind us too. We are not alone. Let's say together, God looks out for us. Ready? Say it. God looks out for us. And that's really good news, isn't it? Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for being with us when we are hurt or sick or lonely or sad. Thank you for protecting us. We love you. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing you at church next time for our next Sunday School lesson. Bye. Have a good week.